that's a dangerous statement. You, you just said it's, it, you, you claim to help them cure cancer, diabetes, and other things, and you say it's all about declogging. Mm -hmm. That's just absolutely not true. You're not curing cancer. You're not curing gallbladder disease. You're not curing any of these il illnesses. It's really, and you don't need to go to such extremes. You really just need to have a balanced diet that's healthy and watch your weight and you'll, res you know, you will have all the results that you're looking for. Unfortunately, what I found was that when you get into this extended juice fasting, you eliminate pounds and pounds of toxic waste. And this stuff we don't know about. Nobody knows about it because we don't do this type of fasting anymore in this day and age. And um, as we start to digest this old stuff, nobody knows we have it because I had a flat stomach, I wasn't overweight, and just it just keeps coming. And then my clients, over 250 people as well had it, and it's from foreign protein, that's meat, refined sugars, gluten, uh, all these things that are simply not for human consumption. You say eating fruit is extreme. Now, isn't it extreme to eat chemicals? Desiree, what do you say about this? So I really think that eating fruits is very crucial. It does have a lot of vitamins and minerals that your body needs, but you're missing out on major food groups. So I think it's really important to practice moderation and balance. You really need the calcium from dairy products or non-dairy alternatives. It's really important to get protein. I don't really see much protein coming from your diet. You know, yeah, you're so saying that you're moving closer to having nuts and seeds, which is applaudable because just strictly being on fruits, you're not getting any protein from fruits. And also, if you're having so much fruit that your sugar content is so high, that can lead to diabetes and high, um, high insulin levels. That's so, actually all false. So if your body is acidic, if your body is acidic from eating acidic foods like meats and dairies, uh, products, then your body is going to leach its own calcium out of its bones to try to make yourself more alkaline. So you want to follow an alkaline diet with the protein. Mother's breast milk is only 1% protein. There's other people here today that are going to talk about how they're, they had so much protein it hurt their kidneys. And you shouldn't have so much protein. Again, balance. One it's watermelon has 19 grams of protein in it. Now, I eat a whole watermelon a with a cup candy. of watermelon actually has 0.9 grams of protein in I'm it. I'm talking the entire large watermelon. Okay. Yeah, but nobody should sit down and eat an entire yeah. large watermelon. That's just, yeah. that's extremely Why? high in sugar. Yeah. So, so, actually, fructose is the only sugar that does not require insulin to cross the cell membrane. So, it actually will not cause diabetes. This is a huge myth and it is killing people. You should eat fruit and you should eat a good amount of fruit, but you should also eat vegetables and you should also eat and nuts and seeds and, and whole grains like quinoa and brown how is it, rice. How is this impacting potato. the child at three years old? I feel like it's going to throw off her hormones. Um, it can cause developmental and growth delays. It's really important for children to get enough calcium, to get enough protein, carbohydrates from whole grains. It's crucial especially when little girls are growing. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.